we're going to now go and build a, a geocoder app. So this app, we have a text input. And when we search for some text, it's going to geocode that and we get the results displayed on the map. So let's see how to create a mapping application using Streamlit. First step, we want to turn off our terminal. So we, whatever terminal we have, control C in a terminal to cancel, to stop that server. If you had a previous app running, you should close that and close that tab as well. So we don't get confused between different apps. We want to create a new folder on our desktop. So we had a simple dashboard that we created. We will create a new folder called simple app. We have need one folder per app. So we just creating a new folder where we are putting the code for the new app. And inside of that, we want to create this app.py. So I'm going to open a new text editor window. You can close the previous one. Once you're done, it'll be saved inside the folder. And we're going to create this basic structure of the app, save it inside of the new folder that we created, simple app, and we'll save it as app.py. So now we have simple app folder with the app.py and the content of the app is here. Here we are using the Folium library to just say, to create the map. We'll have a title, simple geocoder, and we just create a text input where people can enter an address. Right now, that's all we are building. So make sure you enter this, save the code, and going back to your terminal, we have to now go to the folder above that. So we need to come out of the folder and the command for this is cd, cd double dot. So if you do cd double dot, cd space double dot, you will go one directory above. So this will be your desktop. And then we go to cd, simple app. And we should have an app.py and we can start our app from that. So we just say streamlit run app.py. So try this command from terminal, make sure you control C to cancel that, or you can just close the terminal, open a new one, activate the streamlit environment, go navigate to this folder, simple dashboard on your desktop, and do streamlit run app.py. And this should show you this window with a simple geo folder here. So here we, we can enter an address, and when the user enters, nothing happens because we're not doing anything. But again, whatever user enters will be saved into this address variable. We can just get and print it. One of the things you can do is while debugging your app, you can print stuff and the printed stuff will be displayed in terminal. So right now, if I open my terminal and if I change my address here and enter, you can see it prints here. So this is a good way to debug your app where you can just print stuff inside your app.py be printed on the terminal. So we have what the user entered, say whatever user enters, we want to geocode that. For geocoding, we're going to use opened out service. In opened out service, we have the geocoding API. And the geocoding API says you send a request at this URL, geocode slash shares with your API key and the text that the user entered. So we can write code that sends the text to this and in response, you will get the response with what is the, the coordinates of the place that we found and we can display that. We have the address that user entered. We're gonna enter our API key. So whatever open out service API key we want, we can enter this here. Once we have the API key, we can call the API. We can put this in a function so let's say whatever query that was sent by the user entered, we'll say that's a text that we are sending. This is the API key. We call the request to this endpoint. If the response is correct, from the response, we get the coordinates of the place that was geocoded and we can return that. And again, open out service and Folium uses different X and Y, so we change that. And this query, once we geocode it, we don't, don't want to call it every time the app reloads. So we also will cache this. That means it's the same query is called. If I call Boston once, I get the result. If I call Boston again, it says I have the results. I don't want to go to open out service. So we cache the results. By default, when the app runs, we don't want to send this request. For example, if I have an empty query box and I run this, it will be sent with an empty query. 
in my request will fail. So I can add this condition which says if address, so if my address is there, if the user is only entered the address, fire off my geocode. So I'll say geocode address. If there's an empty query, don't do this. And we'll save the result. And we have our results. So let's put this. If the results are there, we'll display the results. If there's an error, we we'll display that. Save that. And we have some indentation issue here. Okay, let's try this NYC. And you can see it got geocoded coordinates. If I type NYC again, it will not go to open out service. It'll just, you know, get the result. If I type some gibberish, it says I could not geocode that. So this is a basic workflow to call an external API, get the result and save the output. Try this out. We have the code for this in our request in a step number two, make sure to change this to your own API. Enter this and test your app that enter any city name and see if you're able to get the code. For the next step, we want to display a folium map. So we're going to use this component Folium Streamlit. So there's a Python package called Folium Streamlit, which allows us to use Folium within Streamlit environment. The documentation is actually a Streamlit app. I found it quite cool. So the documentation for the package is all itself an app that they built using the Streamlit. So they can actually have live examples inside of that. They give you two components. One is the Folium static. That is, if you want one direction communication, you do something, you get a map. You can interact with the map, but the map doesn't send any data back to the server. So that's the folium static. Just want to display some data that user interact with it, that's fine. But you want to do something when the user clicks on something and you want to display the data or do something else, you need to use this bidirectional component. This obviously adds more, you know, it's much more heavyweight than this one. So if you just want to display data, use the folium static component. Let's try this out in our app. So I'm going to update my app and say, now I want to, once the geocoded results are there, I have my output so i have get my results and i want to display a map so i'm going to create a map here say so i'll create a folium dot map the location is the center of the map we say whatever the geocoded coordinates are there we'll specify some zoom level and we say add the marker to it so we'll say add a marker at the result with the pop-up of the address we keep the icon etc and add to app Normally, when we are in a Jupyter notebook and you would display the folium map, we'll just say M. In Streamlit, we say we want to add it to our app. So we have imported our, we need to import our folium Streamlit library, which gives us this folium static component. And we say folium static with this map that we've created with certain width. And now this will render this map on our app. Let's see if this works. So now you can see we get a map. Once the geocoded results are done, it goes and displays our map here. And I think we want to probably do this afterwards. So I want the ST right first, and then on top of that, we do this. So now we have this one. And I can now change it to a different location and it'll be geocoded and I can see the result. Try this out. That's our final step in our app building workflow. So step number three, you can put your full code here, replace your opened out service API key value here. And once you enter this, your app should update. Try it with your geocoding, see if it works. If it fails, the way to debug this would be to, to print this data. So if something happened and say, I don't know what happened, maybe your API key was wrong or something, print data on your terminal, you'll see why the app failed, what was the response from the server. And then you'll be able to see that. So try this out. Let's do the step three in the app section, simple app. Go and add that, update your API key and see if your app works. Streamlit is a great way to let users play with whatever API you built or whatever new model that you build. So say, let's say I build a new machine learning model. Test it and you can allow people to enter different values and you know, test how the model behaves. And that's a great way to come let people interact with the model without having to code. Let's add some new components to it as part of our exercise. So let's do our next exercise, 
Vikna, you can explain the next exercise where we'll allow users to change the base map. So for the exercise, we want to add a select box like this where people can select the base map that they want. So here now you see that we just have default one, but you can have list of base maps that you want to give. And for that, in your folium map, you have an option to specify the tile. So just use the tile option on your folium map and give input as whatever is selected in the select box. So this, this is the way to do the, you know, create the select box and then you can specify tile parameter to execute this. So try this. So here, when you create the select box, save this out the line into a variable. So it'll say my tile set is equals to ST select box, whatever. So when the user selects the tile set, you will get the value in your variable, which is your tile set, and then use the variable inside your, your folium.map call, where you can set that value, what the user selected as the tiles value. So try this out, you can look at the folium map documentation to see what is the keyword to specify to change the base map.